Let me take you through a very exciting journey with me. Nano banana, suit me up. Curious transformation into an astronaut. Teleport to the spaceship. Teleporting. Teleporting inside the spaceship. my spaceship thank you thank you thank you destination Earth. all right welcome back i hope you really enjoyed the movie i know there are a few scenes where there is scope of improvement what i have observed is if you keep working on the prompts you can make it better every single time so in the next few minutes, Wiz, I'm going to share with you the different tools that I used, the thought process behind making this movie. And then I'll also in the end share with you the prompts that I used both for creating of the images and also the transitions, which are very important. So with that in mind, let's start with the thought process, right? So the number one thing that you need to think about is what are the main characters in your movie and whether these characters will remain consistent throughout the movie and how many scenes you really want, okay? then you need to decide on the base image. So what I did was I actually recorded the first bit of this so you can see here. Take you through an exciting journey with me. Nano banana, suit me up. So here you can see that this is the last frame. So I took that and that became my base image. So what I'm going to show you is the steps that I took and then I'm also going to get into the AI Google AI Studio where I actually executed it so that you can see it as well, right? So this is the base image. Then I converted this into an astronaut. So this was the astronaut transformation as you would have seen in the movie. The next one was from, from this, I wanted to be teleported to the spaceship. So I wanted to show the spaceship first so that it will be really cool to then get into the spaceship. That's what happened. So now I'm inside the spaceship and you can see the magnificent view outside. And then the next one, very quickly, there is a alert that is shown within the controls of the spaceship. So this was the image for that. And then the spaceship kind of crashes in an alien, an island. So that was the image that I created for that. And then here the idea was once you open up and step out, you're greeted by friendly alien who have this magical, mystical power. So I wanted to keep it like something which we are all familiar. So I thought of Avatar as the character base. And then the next one is where the aliens are actually healing because they have this amazing power. And I am very surprised. And then I go in by saying thank you and then the destination is earth and this is the last piece where i'm actually flying back right so throughout the scene you will see that i'm try i've tried to maintain image consistency and that's where nano banana comes really handy this is where i'm in google ai studio and you can see that i've given that prompt the prompt is super important because what you need to provide is the starting page as, as long as the starting is 16 by 9 then gem nano banana kind of behaves and it will create the image of that size right so this was th this is the output of this and then i made sure that i'm giving that as a reference so i created this image and then i created the image of the starship which we have seen right so you can see that how back and forth we were doing so this was the process of creating the image i think we all are very familiar with this now how did i create the video so there are multiple options out there but then you will have to really go test different video image models. So I went to open art and I tested a lot of different video models which are out there. I think the key thing that we need to keep in mind, you can see that all the videos that I've generated is depending on the type of model that you select, there are some models which have the end frame, there are some models which don't, right? So let's, if you're selecting Wayo, it doesn't give you the capability to have a starting frame and end frame. So if you want a movie like mine where you need to show the consistency of the character and every touch point, then you might need to have it start in the end frame. So that's where you might need to select a model like Hilo or Kling. I tried with Kling. For me, in, in this one, I felt that Hilo really performed better. I actually also, they have an offer going on, I believe, which is some India Unlimited. So I started with, the, with that for you to remove the watermark 
you need to pay. So since I already had the uh, open uh, art sub subscription, I went back here and did it. So that was the first thing you'll create each one of these. The key thing here is you need to then provide the transition, right? So let's say that I've uploaded this image and then I've uploaded the uh, end frame. So here it's asking to provide like a potentially optional detailed description of the camera movement, right? So this is where you will provide some sort of a camera movement and I'll share this with you as well. So what you need is the transition animated prompts as well, right? So the individual prompts plus the transition prompts. So for example, here I'm saying that as the camera begins a smooth 360 degree turn. So in scene one, you would have seen that it, the camera kind of panned out here to animate the consistent Martian style astronaut suit, right? So that guides the model like this on how I want the camera movement and how it should work out. Once I did that, then I selected the ones which I liked and then you have the option of video upscaling. So I clicked on that and then you can select the different kind of resolutions and different frames per second. Now, depending on the resolution that you're selecting, you will you'll be spending different, different credits. I think again, what I try to do my best here is to keep a consistent resolution so that, you know, all the scenes work out really well. So once you have all the components, that means once you have all the videos and you have downloaded those, then what you're going to do is you're going to go into a video editing tool. You could go use CapCut. In my case, I used Descript in order to really stitch everything together, right? So you can see here, these are the different scenes that I have. And each one of these scenes are nothing but the individual videos that I had. You went through a very exciting journey with the Nano Banana. Yes, you did. Curious transformation. So you can see that you also need to have the transition between one scene to another. Again, any video editing tool will provide that to you. And then to make it more exciting, you might need to add sound effects and all of those things in order to get the full movie, right? So those were the things that I did in order to create this AI overall video. I'm going to play it one more time for you guys to see. And if you're interested in the prompts that I used, which is here, as well as the animated transformation prompts, please do comment and let me know, first of all, how you liked it. And please do let me know if you need it. And I'll be happy to share. Let me take you through a very exciting journey with me. Nano Banana, suit me up. Initiating curious transformation into an astronaut. Now, teleport to the spaceship. Teleporting. Teleporting inside the spaceship. spaceship thank you thank you thank you destination Earth. thank you very much for watching please subscribe and like and share it with your friends i'll see you in the next one